do housing at scale, we start to bring them into the tax bracket. We can't keep on talking about 3 million, 3 million Kenyans and we have no plan. This is the plan to formalize them. Give them a product, give them the support, and they will be able to produce. So, Chair, this is the summary. Do housing projects at scale. You're going to create jobs, and you're going to have a very long cash uh, circulation process. Because of time, Chair, if, if you look at the economics of 200,000 homes, that is per year, if you look at the numbers that I gave, if 200,000 homes at an average of about 2.3 million shillings a house, average, yeah? that gives you 460 billion. That is a cost. Out of the 460 billion chair, if there is a multiplier effect of three times, okay, it means that you have injected in the economy 1.15 trillion shillings. So the levy that we are collecting today, once we scale it up, we should be able to get a lot more money in the economy. Then chair, if you take the 10.5% of the Njengo is labor, then we, it means that we will have about 48.3 billion of money going to wages. So we have got more people coming into the wage bracket. They become more taxpayers. Professor Ndomo is very happy because he's collecting more money and uh, we are building the nation. And then chair, if you look at the average number of formal and informal jobs, you can do up to 2.1 million uh, jobs when you at peak time. So those are the numbers and I've given the assumptions there. Now, a quick uh, summary of uh, why then this housing levy. We look at it from two sides in, or in financing, supply side and demand side. Chair, on the supply side, that is where the developers are. Today, developers are only developing for those who can pay, as I've said. Number two, they cherry pick. They cherry pick. Why? Because they say money is not emotional. You know, they want to go to where the money is going to give them the highest return. Now, let me demonstrate to you. This year alone, I have advertised so many projects. I'm sure you've been seeing them in the newspapers. The first round I advertised was around Nairobi Metropolitan. I had an influx of investors who wanted to take up those homes. Second round, I went to Western Kenya. Kisi, Migori, all those places. I had one investor out of 55 parcels of land that I, I, I whatever. Now, Honorable Wandai and, and, the, and the people from that block, you're also Kenyans. You also deserve affordable homes. So if today we say, let's go and leave it to the private sector, what is the private sector going to do? They're only going to focus on where they're going to get a return. So that is why this housing levy gives us the ability to be able to build these homes indiscriminately in every part of our country. And that's why I wrote to every member of parliament and I requested that you give us land in your constituency. Think about it. 200 units on Rabuandai. 200 units is average of about 500 million shillings. That is about five times your CDF. That means there's going to be so many jobs back at home. There will be lots of industries. Your local hardwares are going to thrive. So chair, those are the, that's the reason why we need to do something on the supply side because investors will only focus on those who can afford. On the demand side though, on the other hand, we talked about low incomes. So the buyers, they lack adequate funding. They do not qualify for mortgages. They walk to a bank and the bank will look at them and tell them, listen, you don't qualify, period. The existing mortgages are too costly. Chair, in this high rising interest regime, I'm sure most of you have got a mortgage. Some of your mortgages have reached 18, 20% now as we speak. This government is committing through this housing levy to give every Kenyan who wants, because it is not, it is, it is not uh, designed for certain people, it's for every Kenyan. Even social housing will give you a house at 3% fixed. Fixed until you finish paying or Jesus comes, whichever comes back, comes first. Number two, if you're in affordable housing, we'll give you fixed at 6% for up to 30 years for you to pay. If you are in market, because majority of the working class are in that market bracket, you're not also forgotten. We're giving you 9% fixed. That is half of what you're paying today in the market. And that has been made possible because of this levy. Because the levy is giving us scale, is giving us... Uh, uh, cheap funding that we are able to advance uh, to Kenyans. So, 
sea, the this this this.